Federal Transit Administration has already taken rare and serious steps to regulate the T after a string of crashes and deadly mishaps. And new tonight at 11, safety experts tell our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, that a federal takeover could be next. With the number of serious incidents involving safety growing by the day, rail experts tell the I-team a federal takeover of the MBTA could be right around the corner. I think we're very close in Boston to what happened in Washington. Here's what happened. In 2015, federal investigators swooped into D.C. and found serious safety lapses and oversight failures by the Washington Area Transit Authority after an incident on a smoky train left a woman dead and dozens injured. That led to the Federal Transit Administration taking over operation of the system. If the Federal Transit Administration decided to take over the MBTA, what would that look like? They would set the, the game plan uh, for the MBTA. The rider would know. The MBTA is already under investigation for a pattern of safety failures that experts say is the responsibility of Steve Poftak, the general manager of the T. The person in charge of the MBTA is an expert and should know and uh, I'm sure has many years of experience. And if you can't get the job done, uh, just think of the baseball analogy. When the manager of a baseball team doesn't get the job done, what happens? They're gone. Why is this any different? The problems extend to nearly every line, including buses and the commuter rail. In January, a Wilmington woman was killed when a crossing gate failed to close. Months later, a man was dragged to death when his arm got caught in a red line train door. In July, passengers jumped out of windows on an orange line train after it erupted in flames over the Mystic River. One woman jumped into the water. Days later, riders on a Framingham line train stuck with no power and no air conditioning pried doors open and had to climb a fence to safety. And not even a week later, two buses caught fire. And just recently, the T announced the shutdown of the Orange Line and part of the Green Line. That's not acceptable. For Boston to reach this level of problem, I think that would be a gigantic embarrassment to the governor and to the mayor of the state of Massachusetts. That it's a pointing out that they can't do their job. The FTA is not the only agency investigating the T. The Federal Railroad Administration is probing a series of incidents on the commuter rail, which is run by Heolis. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.